Hey everyone, how's it going? Let's place him into the breach. Well, I want to do some of these activities at the historic county and over here to get some power grid built up. So let's see what we've got. Old Earth proximity mines are buried in this region from hundreds of years ago. We were slowly disarming them, but then we thought, why not use them against the Vec? Interesting. Okay. End the battle with less than four mech damage. Jeez. Protect the whole the coal plant. Okay. So what? These... Any unit that stops on this space will trigger the mine and be killed. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's try to figure out ways to exploit these mines. We got a time pod. Oh, cool. Uh-oh. Well, I hope they don't step on it. Shoo. All right. So this is Operation Knock Beck into the Mines. Where can you shoot? Uh-oh. We're, we're all hemmed in with this guy. Okay. Hmm. I should have anticipated that happening. Alright, let's think about the best way to do this. This guy has two health, this guy has three. I can shoot this guy into him, but it won't kill him. No, I think what I want to do is just have Ralph punch this guy. Unfortunately, it hits my own man, but now we can get some space. And what we can do is, if we... Um... Before we fire, let me look at my options. Yeah, this is the perfect option. So I'm going to take collateral and move him here to get the time pad, and then we'll shoot here. This will knock this guy here and this guy here, so they'll both be killed by the mines. And then this guy will have two damage on him, and then we can move over here and knock him into this. We recovered the pod. Oh, we don't have the range to do that. Oh, that's a shame. It was going to work so beautifully. Oh, it's because we, we can't shoot over this mine? Well, then let me move to a different space. That's weird. Why can't I shoot over the mine? That seems so bizarre. It's on the ground. How could I... All right, I guess I can't. Oh, it's because he's a straight shooter. Oh, I got my mechs confused. Oh my goodness. Okay, great. All right, so here's what we can do. Um, we can... The best place to fire this guy... ...is here. Can I fire at my own... No, I can't fire on my own square, unfortunately. I can't hurt myself. That's too bad. Alright, so I think because of this bad placement on my part, I've kind of... Um, boxed myself in. I really have to remember that um, you can't move through tiles occupied by like a building or whatever. Um, so this guy, putting him here, really put him up against it. 
All right, so additionally, if I move this guy over here, I also now know for the future that you can't shoot through these mines. Um, for example, if I try to go here and then shoot, oh no, I can. Oh my gosh, so many moronical mistakes, but good mistakes, because at least I can hit this guy and kill him. All right, so then let's think about that. If I can take this dude out with this shot, or I could even take this guy out, what's my best play? Um, I really can't move. Where are you attacking? You're attacking this. Um, and you are doing how much damage? One damage. Uh... Sorry, I'm like hard at work trying to figure out a way to save this building. I think the only thing I can do is put the mech in front, unfortunately. Um, but then if I put the mech in front to block, where am I shooting? Here? No, that would kill me. Um... Where can you shoot? You can shoot here, and you can shoot here. Um, all of which is bad. Boy, this is tough. This is really tough. I mean... I'm honestly thinking about moving the mech in front to block the building and not firing with this guy because I can't hit anything useful that doesn't kill me. I guess I can do this and put two damage or a damage into him, but then it, it, it makes it kind of overkill if I shoot him. All right, I still think it's my probably my best play, so... All right, and then you are doing what you're attacking this tile you're attacking here and you're attacking this tile so this guy pretty much has to move um all day oh that killed the mine boy that's interesting all right well either way i'm gonna move here to get the pod and then i'm gonna shoot this guy kill him and at least do a damage into this dude so this guy will be very very hurt um our artillery mech will be at like one health but um we can we can pull out of that. Okay, so he just went onto the mine and killed himself. So did that guy. This is a really exciting. I'll take it. Oh, you know what I just saw over on the upper left, too? Now, I'm not 100% sure on this. And if you guys know and could clarify it for me in the comments below, I'd be super appreciative. But it looked like the experience that those dudes got when they blew up from the mine was evenly distributed amongst my um, pilots. I kind of thought before that if you didn't get the kill shot and the terrain got the kill, that the experience was wasted. But it would be so awesome if you got a little share of it. Okay. Um, so if you know that if you get the experience and in what conditions um, produce that, uh, please put that in the comments and I'd, I'd love to know the answer. Remember, when I like to do these blind playthroughs, um, I don't personally want to search for information online because I don't want more spoiled than I'm looking for. But if somebody tells me, you know, a tip or a piece of advice, then I'm fine with that. All right. So let's see. So we have three people, three vet coming out of the ground. And we have one vet with one hit point who wants to attack us. And we have several mines left. Um, I don't... I can block one of their squares... You know, if I really want to. 
but I think what I might do is... Move up here and shoot and kill this guy. And then I can move my big mech here to because he has so much health. And then this guy, um, I'm going to move into a better position and then I'm going to do the heal on himself to repair. And then I'm going to call it a day. Blocked enemy. Okay, so the hit point plus bubbly squid man is here. Alright. Luckily, this is like, you know, early in the game, so it's much, much easier, and I really appreciate that fact. Um, so, we can blow this guy up, and we need to right away so that this guy's hit points are reduced. So, I'll just have... that happen, and then I could just knock this guy into the mine. Right? It seems pretty good. And then let me stand here and repair. So we'll block, but we'll and take damage, but then we'll it's a net gain of, oops, no, 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 I need to heal. Yeah, heal up. All right. Thanks for that little flavor, Steve. Um, okay, and we will pass. <laughs> I like how uh, Ralph, when blocking the tile of the emerging Vec, was like, Not today, you Vec bastard. <laughs> That's awesome. You got to get a little smarmy, though, when you're fighting for your life against giant bugs. I mean, it's just how it is. All right. So I think we're doing... We're in really, really good shape. You can punch and kill this guy. Um, and we can tag team this one. We win at the end of this turn. And... Ooh, I forgot about the bonus objective to end with less than four mech damage. But we have three. And um, unless I'm completely miscalculating this... Uh, Oh, no, I am miscalculating this. I thought that uh, you did two damage with your shot. Huh. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to knock this guy over here so his shot goes into the mountain. But that's surprising. I thought we would be able to do three damage, two damage here, and one damage here. Anyway, totally cool. That was a mis mathematical miscalculation on my part, but it works out well for us. So you hit the mountain. It's bad for the mountain, but it's good for everything else. The Riftwalker saved us. We came from the future to save you. The troops of Old Earth would have been proud. If only they'd been here to see it. Well, yeah. I've gotten this message before, and it's always, you know, this kind of, like, dark lining that you put on an otherwise flawless victory. Anyway, we do get all of the bonus objectives. Um, as you can see at the top of the screen, we now have our power grid up to um, only missing one shred. So we are at six out of seven. That's terrific. We got an extra reputation point, and we protected the time pod. What is in the time pod? Let's find out. Open the door. It's a guy, and it's Henry Kwan. Um, ooh, this is, that's right, I saw this, right? So, like, you can unlock new pilots, and he has a special of being able to move through enemy units. That is fantastic. And then the reactor core is great upgrading your mechs. Okay, so we unlocked a new pilot. You just got a new pilot. You can assign them in the upgrade screen. Okay. Let's go to the upgrade screen. And so I have... Um, I think I would probably want the artillery pilot to do that, right? Henry Kwan. And he's just better than the... Um, 
our other option than Colin Smith, who has no skills and only nine experience. Quan came from the future. I believe that's where the pods are coming from. Um, well, where else could they come from? They can't come from the past. That makes no sense. But anyway, um, and he's got 23 of 25 experience, and he has this skill. Looks like each pilot could potentially have three skills. So I think to help with the increasing difficulty of the game or to help you get further in the game, you start to get pilots who have these passive abilities that really, really um, <laughs> benefit you. So this is great. So now this guy, like, in the previous situation when I got penned in, granted it was my um, cannon mech and not my artillery mech, but still, there I can move around. I can go through enemies. All right, that's perfect. All right, Henry, you're in. Um, let me go back, and let me go over to my mechs, and let's go to Ralph. And if I upgrade him, it'll let me give him a move if I do spend the uh, upgrade on him, I believe. But I could also just as easily upgrade someone else, you know, and I could give Steve some extra health, or I could give uh, the artillery mech some extra health. And it's probably in my best interest to spread the skills around. That being said, I'm not actually going to do that. Um, what I'm going to do is upgrade him and give him um, an extra move. And the reason I'm doing that is because he's got all this health and he can only attack at melee, and I've been in situations before where he's too far away and he's useless, whereas the other guys have some ranged attacks. So this is probably, it could be a bad idea to kind of like Voltron up Ralph's mech and, you know, leave the others behind, but for now, I'm, I'm happy with this. All right, and I'm going to go to Ohm Town because I love meditation and electricity, so Ohm Town sounds great, and... Um, all I have to do is protect the power generator. Uh, this has one of these objectives where you're not supposed to kill them. And so I'm not enthusiastic about that. Be but they explode, that's why. Um, drive it away, but don't kill it. So we're going to be moving them away. Um, I don't know if I'll get this bonus objective, but I'm definitely going to protect the power generator. All right, everybody, I think this is a good place to stop this episode of Into the Breach. I might, um, depending on what you guys think, start combining two missions into each episode um, if I play through them a little bit faster as I get more experienced with the game. But right now, I think the pace of one episode that's about 15 to 20 minutes long, around that range, um, one mission per episode is, is reasonable. But if you guys think you would prefer to see two episodes in one just let me know in the comments below and we can do that for sure. Everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this um, Let's Play Into the Breach here in 2020. I'm loving this game. It is very challenging, but I love the, you know, pseudo simplicity of it, the graphics, everything about it. Love mechs. It's great. So I hope you enjoyed it too. And if you did and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, could you please do so? I'd really appreciate it. And I'll check you guys in the next episode. Take care.